The advantage of Auto21 is that it really allows um, uh, network researchers from different universities across the country to pool their resources and as well, you know, bounce ideas off each other. Um, the students get a chance to interact with students at other universities, so it's just access to multiple resources that you wouldn't otherwise be able to access, whether it's industrial support or university equipment or data or just the knowledge of other researchers in your field. Well, what we're doing is we're developing uh, a model of elderly driver behavior based on some data that has been recorded on a driving simulator. What we're hoping to do is develop this tool um, to help assess an elderly driver's abilities and then based on that assessment we can judge whether or not they should maintain their license, perhaps maintain a limited license, or indeed have to have their license revoked. And so in doing this what we're hoping is that we'll be able to keep more elderly drivers on the road in some capacity and maintain their quality of life rather Rather than you know just maybe erring on the side of caution with regards to liability's sake and re removing their license at the first sign of an issue. The connections that I've been able to make um, with this initial project are bringing me into proposals for future projects with the same researchers and additional new researchers. So I'm expanding my network of contacts as well. Well, for an engineer to be able to work in a multidisciplinary setting is very important because basically everything that engineers do is to help to solve problems in society. And sometimes we get so focused on the technology that we feel a little too far removed from the implications of our work. And so I think it's very important that we keep in touch with, with the sociological aspects of the technology that we're developing.